Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we will try to forecast stock level over time with Sarima model. Let's jump to the code. Uh, yeah, so that's the, the our first step is to import the required libraries. So we start with core libraries for data manipulation and numerical computation. They will be import pandas as PD and numpy as NP. Then we are going to time series modeling libraries. So stats model scikit-learn. For one of them, we will import Sarimax. And for scikit layer metrics, we use a min absolute error to measure our model. We have one visualization library, it will be Matplotlib as PLT. So with the visualization that we see before, what's created with Matplotlib. Yeah. Then we're going to ensure re reproducibility, so number random seed 42. Step number two is to create sample data inventor data set. So the data set explanation, we have date, date range for inventory data, stock level, current stock level over time, sales historical slash data, and the purpose is to simulate inventory stock level over time to demonstrate demand forecasting to see how it's fluctuating. fluctuating. Then we will generate synthetic inventory data set with three columns, date, stock level, and sales, and date with, with, with pandas data range, and second both with NumPy. Then we, we've, uh, we are creating a panda data frame and send date as an index. So data frame is equal to pandas data frame date. And then and data frame send index date in place true. The first is visualize in, in initial stock level. So we are with data frame, we are going to stock level uh, column, then plot uh, with PLT X, Y, and PLT show. So there's uh, data and stock level, which we can see here. So the base one, this is the what we are starting for with. And then we are going to um, step number two and train test split. So the purpose is to split data set into training and testing set. Training set in this case will be first 80% of the data and testing set uh, 12, uh, last 20% of the data set. Uh, so let's say uh, that's like base uh, dividing of the data. So train uh, data frame alloc till 80, test after 80. Then step number four is to build the same model. Okay, so same model explanation. Uh, let's start with non-seasonal components of the model. So P, D, and Q. P is like observation in area model, in area model. D, number of differences needed for stationarity. And Q is size of the moving average window. Then we have seasonal components of the model because it's Sarima, so seasonal Arima. Uh, we have um, P, seasonal R model, seasonal differencing order D. Q, seasonal moving average order and S number of time steps in seasonal cycle. Okay, and in this example, we have one on one, so R1, difference one, MA1, non-seasonal, and then we have one one and 12. So seasonal R1, seasonal, seasonal difference one, seasonal MA1, and seasonal 12, so let's put like month cycle. We are there, we are building Serima model, so model equal to Serimax, train, we will use the train data, stock level, del order, one one one, and seasonal order, one 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 and 12. So no seasonal parameters and seasonal parameters, PDQ and S. Then we feed the model to the training data. So same model is equal to model, then feed. Step number four is to forecast inventory demand. So the purpose for this is forecast the inventory stock level for the test set duration. We forecast the next 20, uh, 20 time periods, test size, yeah, test size. So the forecast equals same model, then forecast steps 12, uh, 20, test forecast equal to forecast. Step number six is to evaluate model performance. Evaluate the model using mean absolute error, so the, that we import from scikit-learn. Lower MRA indicates better predictive performance. We can see the number here, mean absolute error, 70.74.11. Um, yeah, so calculate mean absolute error. So mean MA equal to mean absolute error, test stock level, uh, and test forecast. And we are printing mean absolute error equal to mean absolute error. Uh, then let's uh, in step number seven we'll visualize forecast versus actuals. So the purpose is to compare actual stock level with forecast values. As well, we're using Matplotlib here, so PLT figure, and then we're going PLT, PLT plot. So the stock level, label train, the plot about the labels actual, and then the PLT plot list forecast. We are you can, you can see here that we are uh, using uh, different variables: stock level, stock level by test, and test forecast. Then PLT legend, PLT title, similar inventory forecast versus actual, PLT X level data, PLT Y stock level, and then PLT show. So we can see it here how data looks like. So we see train in uh, orange, we see actuals, and then with dots, we see how forecast is working here, how it looks like. 
Uh, yeah, so last thing, let's say the step number eight is instant conclusion. So Serima effectively predicts inventory levels, helps plan reorder points and optimize inventory management, should support you, and identifies identify seasonality in stock level trends. Okay, that should be it for this video. Thank you for watching.